In this review, we present our work on tube acceleration, a robust dextrose throwing against release uncertainty. With the tube acceleration designed to robustify against the release uncertainty, the robot is able to throw various and even deformed objects with diverse throwing configurations without any training. Compared to the common planar throwing in the literature, dextrose throwing is highly beneficial in unstructured environments. For example, it involves higher efficiency and flexibility in the face of unpredictable target positions. Just like a skilled basketball player who can shoot the ball in different ways and is ready to maneuver adaptively. Within the regime of dextrose throwing, it is very challenging to reliably throw various objects with diverse configurations and their uncertainties. While one can use data-driven methods to train the robot to throw various objects with a single configuration, it would require a large amount of real throwing data for diverse configurations. On the other hand, dynamic model-based planning would require complex hardware setup to estimate physical properties of individual objects like surface friction. For deformed objects, it is also very difficult to obtain an accurate model to describe the finger-object interaction during the release. Instead of seeking for an intricate model, we would like to first ask how various objects differ in throwing outcomes. As shown here, with the heuristic design of robot motion during the 100 milliseconds release window, the same motion command to throw a hard plastic ball it's not valid to throw a deformed ball tennis ball. Indeed, in the macroscopic level, after giving the grip opening command, the deformed tennis ball gradually expands back to its original shape, with possibly sliding along the contact surface before entering the free-flying motion. As a result, larger deformation of the tennis ball delays the release and resulting in accurate throw. In this regard, can we design the robot motion robust to release delay? Apart from a valid nominal throwing configuration, the simplest strategy to overcome release delay is let the robot's end detector follow the free flying dynamics of the object. However, due to hardware limits, such gravitational acceleration at the end detector is generally not feasible. Therefore, our idea is to let the robot's end detector traverse in the tube of valid throwing configurations during the release phase. As a result, the throwing outcome is agnostic to release time. How to find the dynamically feasible release motion? The synthesis of release motion is based on the following observation. The flow map, which maps from the release state to landing position, is quasi-linear. This observation has two implications. First, valid release motion can be driven by constant acceleration, which we call tube acceleration. Second, tube acceleration can be found via linear programming with bounded error. Let's first have some intuitive understanding of the flow map, which is the map from initial position and velocity to landing position. If we change the initial horizontal position while fixing the initial velocity, the landing position will change while the flying range remains constant. By only varying horizontal velocity, we can also change the landing position due to the change of flying range. By changing horizontal and vertical velocity in the correct way, we can maintain the same initial position and the same landing position. Now, we can see the consequence of gripper opening delay with the constant velocity during the release. As the initial position moved to the right, the landing position also moved to the right significantly. However, using the local gradient of the flow map, we can immediately correct the velocity at the end of the release phase to retract the landing position to the desired position. Then, if we connect the nominal throwing velocity and the corrected velocity by a constant tube acceleration, 
the release motion driven by the tube acceleration will be recursively valid. Due to the quasi-linearity of the flow map, the problem to find out a dynamically feasible tube acceleration can be tightly approximated by a linear program and can be solved within 30 milliseconds online. As a result, tube acceleration will drive the robot to traverse in the family of flying trajectories, and hence the same motion command driven by the tube acceleration is valid to throw different objects. Compared to the previous heuristic motion design, during the 100 millisecond release window, the more principled tube acceleration robustifies against the release uncertainty. So, even if different objects have different release dynamics and hence different flying trajectories, they still have the same landing position. We conducted a systematic evaluation of our robust throwing method. Here is our setup. We have a collection of 18 objects with variations in geometry, material, and deformability. This set is arguably the most diverse in the literature to date. Each object is thrown 5 to 8 times to account for instance level uncertainties. The target box is designed with two levels of error tolerance. And five configurations were tested, including a common planner throwing configuration, as well as four distinct Dexworth throwing configurations. With the experiment setup, we can compare the landing accuracies of heuristic release motion with robust release motion driven by tube acceleration. In the case of planar throwing, tube acceleration achieves 97% accuracy into the small box. Compared with the previous works on throwing diverse objects using end-to-end -end learning methods, our setup has a smaller target size and a much more diverse set of objects. Despite the more challenging setup, we achieved comparable accuracies. Furthermore, tube acceleration can improve the throwing accuracies for all four Dexworth throwing configurations. All release motions are dynamically feasible and are obtained by simply solving a convex problem. Therefore, tube acceleration is a promising robust-defying procedure for Dexworth throwing robots.